Hey everyone, it's your girl Maddie here, aka Beaver Moth, and today I'm talking to you about Veil of Death, Shroud of Night, from the Philadelphia-based Unholy Altar, and this is a debut full-length album from this raw black metal crew that caught my attention by the sheer abrasiveness and, and savagery of these recordings. The sound is gritty, it's harsh on the ears. They are going for this feeling of pure darkness and evil that I don't find other bands being able to pull off as well as this. There is an ethos of just pure fury here. It's not trying to be the most progressive black metal album, not trying to be the most atmospheric black metal album, no. It is just trying to be the most uninviting experience imaginable, and I find that rather exciting. With Abaddon, things start off with the most filth-coated, rage-inducing screech that is met with this utter chaotic flood of unfiltered, destructive, and scathing guitars. This is a type of black metal that just embraces abrasiveness and sinisterism. This is evil, evil stuff. I love these punkish galloping drums that carry this track along. It injects such a nasty, energetic sense of movement. With Black Winds of Nocturnal Dismay, you get these open, dark sounding tremolos paired with these circling drum pattern. It feels like the most blasphemous of ceremonies. There are some cold, windy melodies here that are kind of covered beneath the onslaught of, of sound, it's worth giving this a close listen to pick those melodies out though. And I think that is an advantage of raw black metal like this. It encourages you to uncover the mysteries. The songwriting I want to comment on, there is a well-defined trajectory to all of these tracks. It leads to high points. Everything is mapped out in a way that leaves me very impressed. Infernal Flesh with its opening strummed intro really showcases the tone of this guitar, which I love. It's buzzing. It's grating. It has this reverberating quality that makes it feel like the riffs are being possessed right in front of you. I have to talk about the vocals again because they are so convincing, full of scorn and disgust. It feels like they are ripping right at your ears. It's fantastic. On Treachery of the Common, I love this more spacious beginning. It's introspective. It's depressive and honestly rather hypnotic. This track just shows a more doomy side of the band, brooding guitars, slow droning feedback, and this just overall sense of dread that they are able to capture. On Sin Eater, the drummer does this insane thing where they just slash at the cymbals with no restraint, just going for pure emotion. The drums, the percussion really matches the feeling of the music at all times. They, this band really gets performance in my opinion. On Nefarious, just feel the muscle behind these smoky trembles just fluttering around you like some demonic stroud. I honestly really like how this record is mixed. It works perfectly for the effect that they are trying to give you. The track just festers, builds slowly and gradually. You just kind of sit there and absorb it. Really well done on that front. Now, Pestilence just brings us to a point of pure terror and unfiltered chaos. All of the instruments going at full power. It's devastating. This is cult as hell. You will feel a sense of hideousness sitting through this, no doubt. There is this intentionally traditionalist approach to this record. It's pure, cold, classic black metal. And I'm always looking for that, not gonna lie. The amount of anxiety, inner torture, and blasphemy that they are able to evoke with this record. It's not easy to do. It's not something that anyone can just sell you. They really pull it off. Do you like raw black metal? Do you like the black metal that is more unpolished and goes for just a pure sense of wickedness like this record does? Then I urge you to check it out because I really enjoyed it. And hey, guess those are my thoughts. Uh, if you like this video, hit the like button. It'd mean the world to me if you'd consider subscribing. Leave a comment. I love getting to engage with those. I have a Twitter you can follow. Link to that is in the bio of this YouTube channel. As always, thank you to my patrons. You keep the channel running. Yes, 
I have a Patreon, no pressure to give financially. But if that is a way you want to support the show, I put exclusive content there every month. Um, you watching right there, keep it metal. My name is Maddie, a.k.a. Beaver Mosh, signing off.